y'all it's adasia and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how i pre-part my hair for large knotless braids the first thing you're going to need is shine and jam by magic finger studio a rat tail comb some clips and hair ties before i start pre-parting i like to put a glob of shine and jam on the back of my hand just so i don't have to keep reaching for more product when i need it and now i'm going to split my hair into two sections from ear to ear then split the front section into two and put them into hair ties so i'm gonna work with the back section first to start my first row of braids i take my rat tail comb and line it up with the tip of my ear then make a straight line from right ear to left ear and to make sure that the line is as crisp as possible i take a dab of shine jam and put it directly on the part then go back over the part with my rat tail comb Then after I finish parting that first row, I put it into a hair tie to get out the way and move on to the next. That part looks crispy, don't it? You gotta use that shining jam, that's the key, and that rat tail comb. Now I'm gonna move on to the second row and do the exact same thing. I'm eyeing it to make sure that it's the same width as the first row. Then I make a straight line with a rat tail comb. Take a dab of shine and jam and put it directly on the part. Make sure it looks nice and neat with the rat tail comb and move on to the next row. By the time you get to the third row, you'll start to see that the row will curve and get smaller as you get to the top of your head. Once you get to the fourth row, make sure it's in a half moon shape or a semicircle and put it into a hair tie. So you should have four rows in the back and they should be equal in size. Now I'm gonna move on to the two front sections. First, I'm gonna make a middle part using my shining jam and my rat tail comb and just neaten that up and just make it straight as possible. Now I'm going to put the left section back in a ponytail while I work on the right side. Now part in the front section is super easy. All you got to do is just line up the parts that you just did in the back with the front with your rat tail cone and then clean it up again with the shine and jam. And that's it. So I have a total of three rows on the right side, three rows on the left side, and four rows on the back. Now it's time to start making individual parts for each braid. I already created four square parts on the first row. So now I'm gonna move on to the next row and start the first square by parting it in the middle of the square that I previously did on the first row. This technique is called brick layering. So then I'm gonna tie a rubber band around it and do that for each part. So you see what I mean by brick layering? It, each square part is in the middle of two squares, if that makes sense. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do to the next two rows. I'm just gonna do the brick layering and um, to make the parts look nice and crisp, I'm using the shining jam and my rat tail comb again and then putting a rubber band on each square part. So I'm gonna stop talking and just let this video play and let me know if you have any questions down below.
After I finished pre-parting, I had a total of 26 individual parts of my head. I hope you guys enjoyed the pre-parting tutorial. Stay tuned for part two, which will be linked in the description box. Bye! <laughs>